Good morning, everyone. Today it's September tenth, two thousand twenty. So this time I want to show you another very famous mathematical proof. The prime numbers are infinite. So to prove this. This one, the first improved by Greek mathematician Euclid in about 2000 years ago. And uh, here we follow his uh, proof. We still use uh, contradiction to prove this. So first, now let's suppose Let's suppose prime number are fitted. Prime numbers are finite. This means We have a fixed a fixed number n such that All prime numbers can be list listed as P one. P2, P3, blah, 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 to Pn. Okay, this is uh, all prime numbers here. Then, based on the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, we have any number can write as the product of all these uh, sum prime numbers. So then now let's uh, build another number. Let's check. Let's. Uh, Set number x, this one equals p1 times p2 times pn plus 1. Okay, so X is greater than all of these prime numbers, all of P1, P2 to Pn. And also, x is not divisible
by any of any any of P one P two to P A. Therefore, X So therefore we have a, a contradiction. You know, this one is greater than all these uh, prime numbers, but X is not divisible by any of these uh, prime numbers. So therefore say X is a prime number because M, X is not divisible by any of these prime numbers, but X is a prime number. So this is a contradiction. It's a, con it's a contradiction. So our suppose is wrong. Therefore, therefore, prime number should be infinite. Therefore, prime numbers should be Inflate. So this is a proof for prime number R, inflate. So say it's very easy, but uh, it's very fundamental. So here we finish this proof, everybody, Bye, see you next time.